are uh, preparing for the Right to Know College Road Tour, and we are going to be visiting schools, mostly in San Diego and LA, setting up our displays, reaching as many students as we can. What we're trying to do is raise awareness around the GMO labeling ballot initiative that's out right now. We're trying to really just spread the word about conscious living, and you know that there's alternatives out there to a lot of conventional lifestyles. So this is our trailer. Day one, leaving the office. No one knows what's ahead. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, we know what's ahead. We're driving down to LA right now. Hopefully you get there in like eight hours. We're Teams Turning Green. We're uh, a nonprofit from the Bay Area. This is one of our stops on a 10 stop statewide road tour to do sustainable education. So, what we've done is we've made a bunch of groupings of products that you might find in daily routine, and we've presented a conventional and a conscious grouping of products for each. So, if you just sort of go look around, all we're trying to do is trying to trigger people's ideas about how they can change the products they buy on their daily routine. So, to something that's a bit more sustainable, maybe organic. So I got in contact with Teams Turning Green, and I was just, it's something important to start awareness here. It's cool because I actually have learned a lot. I, I saw all those goodies when really they're not that good. I've been passing out some face scrubs and some shampoo, educating people. It's cool. I noticed a bunch of the food products also that like a lot of them that I use like the peanut butter and all that it, I guess it's not that good but I want to try the other stuff. People are really curious of where to buy this stuff because they've never seen it before. I think that's like the biggest thing they'll ask me like how much it costs versus buying more cheaper conventional products. I met some real cool people, had some really great help from our volunteers. It was cool that it was a community event, you know, there's a lot of people who just live here in the valley. I think we really made an impact. They were definitely gracious and uh, really willing to come up and just talk to us at the tent and, uh, and learn some new stuff. We're gonna try and engage as many students as we can and spread sustainable education. And we're going to work with some of the groups on campus that are already here to collect signatures for the GMO labeling ballot. Trying to impact as many students as we can to really, you know, change their life on campus and change everyone's perception that they meet so that we can really get the word out. Trying to get all of our stuff moved out of the way and not run anybody over. Today is the main objective, just education or? Yeah, education. So it's really just finding ways to not only connect students to their campus, but connect students to each other to sort of spread the word about sustainability. I work for Dr. Bronner's Magic Soaps. I'm here supporting the Teens Turning Green program. Our company supports a lot of green causes. Our products are considered among the greenest. The stuff that we're putting out in front of everybody is the stuff that we believe, it's stuff I use every day of my life and the stuff that we believe in and the stuff that's reducing the impact on Earth and the environment and our health. Things like USDA Organic are really great to have on um, boxes, so we're really encouraging people to start to look for labels. Conventional Pop-Tarts, bad. And conscious Pop-Tarts, USDA or Organic Ingredients, um, just a whole different way of focusing on the food that we're eating every day. I saw that you had a really neat <laughs> thing set up to tell us about what's sustainable and what's not sustainable because I can tell you that I don't know a whole lot about that. I just kind of go with the flow. So I think it's really good that you have a campaign like that going on. I saw a bunch of those things that are conventional and I use most of them. So clearly I'm not making some very healthy choices. <laughs> I thought that Simple Green, because it was called Simple Green, was a, I don't know, a natural choice, but it, we're going to start buying more of those. It was a great day. We made some great connections with some really energetic students who really want to take what we're doing and apply it to their campus. Really taught some people about some really good topics on sustainability, some good food talk, some good talk about whole body products and cleaning products. We're here at Palomar. Just checked into our amazing rooms. Thank you, Kimpton. You're pretty incredible. We're gonna spend the evening just organizing for tomorrow, and we're leaving bright and early. I think 
everyone should be knowledgeable about what they're eating because you're putting it into your body and you only have one body, so you might as well take care of it and take care of the environment at the same time. These are all organic, not We just picked up the rest of our samples for Southern California from all of our awesome sponsors. We got some natural care stuff, some desert essence, casual wallpaper, some nature's path bars, some Dr. Bronner's soaps. Now we're about to drive for our tour stop for the day. Are you a California resident? Yes, I am. I would sign the ballot initiative as soon as you can, and I would get as many of your friends to sign it as you can. There's a lot of stiff op opposition to this ballot initiative being passed. I mean, companies like Monsanto, who own a huge amount of GMO crops. Yeah, I mean, exactly. They don't, you know, they don't want this ballot initiative to be passed, and they don't want the availability for it to be voted on in November. I'm a senior at UCSD, so I'll be graduating this quarter. The biggest barrier to responsible consumerism is information and so the label GMO campaign that we're doing is I think of critical importance to the health and welfare of Californians. Well, I'm glad you guys printed out the dirty dozen. Reduce the amount of pesticides you eat when you buy organic vegetables and food. So no cotton was sprayed so much compared to food even. 25% of the world's pesticides. Organic cotton tampons and, and uh, yeah. Can you have me one of those? Yeah, thanks. Thank you guys. You're welcome. I like the deodorant. Oh, yeah, deodorant. <laughs> I know that's the bad thing. It has yeah. aluminum yeah, zirconium in it. And then, yeah, that's bad. That's bad. I think that the development of green products versus these X products is really going to help decrease cancer in our society because it will we'll put less carcinogens on our bodies and like on the plates we eat off of and laundry and all kinds of stuff. The, what was it, Comet disinfectant? I didn't know that it emitted that many contaminants. And where I work, they use a lot of bleach to clean down everything. And obviously you can tell it it's not a good product, but um, it's just harsh to see how many chemicals there are in it that are so dangerous for us. So that and the food is what I was most concerned about. When I was growing up, my mom was really big into being a conscious consumer and everything being natural um, and looking at the labels, reading what you were buying. And it's interesting because when, when you're younger, you know, you, you face all these pressures from school and friends where, oh, what you're doing isn't normal, you know, like, and so I think as a, as a child I resisted it a little bit because I didn't understand the, the larger implications, but um, now I really appreciate what my mom was trying to tell me uh, as a kid. I mean, now with awareness increasing and with um, cool events like this and a lot of information coming out, I think that um, that will start to change where it'll be the cool thing to be reading the ing ingredients label and like, find something that's actually uh, supporting great company.